Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I woke up to um, several new subscriptions to my YouTube channel. And in that moment when I saw that, like, hallelujah, started playing in the background, like, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I knew in that moment, Nicole probably mentioned me um, in her, one of her videos or something. I, I just had that, you know, that feeling, that sense. And yes, I started looking into it and she did. She gave me a shout out. So now she knows who I am. Oh my God. So I don't feel like such a creeper now asking for her address so I can send her the little things I got her. Uh, thank God. Cause I was like, how the heck am I going to just email Joe and say, Hey, can I have your address? Like what? You know, that would be so creepy, stalkerish. They'd, they'd probably like block me. But now I can, I already emailed him, of course, as soon as I got up. Now I can ask freely, cause she knows who I am. And she watched one of my videos. She saw the one with the brooch roach. Um, uh, she mentioned that one, so awesome. So it's a wonderful, wonderful day today even though it's dark and gloomy and disgusting and I should be depressed. I'll probably get depressed later, but for now, I am so super stoked. Oh my God. On top of all that, I have a fan who emailed me. Yeah! Like, I have someone that actually emailed me and let me know that they like my YouTube videos. So I am so excited. And she is the one that also requested that I do a video on my favorite finds. So on all my, um, all my finds that send me to cloud nine, as she said. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm going to make a video showing you guys like my finds that when, when I found it at the thrift store, like my body reacted to it. Like I might've gotten moist in places I shouldn't have kind of thing. Kids don't listen to this. But you know that euphoric moment when you find something. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Some of those are not even like major designer things, but to me it was just like, holy shit, I can't believe I found it. So that's what hey we'll guys, do. guys, greetings and salutations. I'm still like going crazy with all the subscribers I'm getting. And I am so excited Nicole mentioned um, my channel in her in her last uh, vlog video. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, just come to think of it, like three weeks ago, I didn't even know how to make a video. I had my Mac laptop, so I went on that iMovie thing and I started to put stuff together, adding music, adding transitions. Like I started to learn that stuff. Then on Thanksgiving, I released my first video and oh my God, this is so freaking exciting. I cannot believe it. Anyway, so I have a fan um, who wrote me an email and she is super cool. She's been extremely supportive uh, throughout this entire process and like, you know, we talk about stuff like she noticed that my confidence went up from my first video until now Like I'm letting loose you guys still haven't seen um, anything um, But I'm slowly letting loose and being myself and she's just been very very great. I just feel like, she, you know, people like her keep me going to uh, inspire me to make more videos. So anyway, she's the one that requested um, that I do a video on my favorite finds, like those moments where you find something and you're like on cloud nine, you know, that euphoric moment, the one where you take the rack and you're like, hallelujah, those moments. So I've had a lot of those. I'm easily, easily amused. So I'm going to share some of that stuff with you. I pulled out some of my favorite things, put them all out on the bed. And several of those items are actually ones that I kept. They're mine. I don't know if I'll ever sell them. And other ones are for sale and some that I haven't even uh, posted up yet. So if you see anything um, you like, let me know. But these are some of my favorite finds. And they come from a variety of segments of fashion. You know, 
people automatically assume the favorite finds are from the luxury items, the Tom Ford, the Chanel, and that's not necessarily true. There's that level below that, the semi-luxury. And so I think majority of my stuff falls in that semi-luxury and to the mid one. You know how there's that segmentation. I also wanted to comment further on a topic I started to talk about few, um, few episodes before, and that's um, brands that diffuse their kind of exclusivity because they introduce uh, labels that are more affordable and are released to the masses. So one of those brands is Michael Kors. And we have Michael Kors, and then they have two diffused brands, and that is uh, Kors and Michael. So when you see items that say, um, you know, just Michael, Michael Kors or Kors by Michael Kors, those are the brands that were created to um, appeal to the masses and be available to the masses through department stores. So keep an eye out on that because obviously the brands, the brands that, um, uh, have done that, the items that you pick up might be one of their diffused um, labels and so it might be not as expensive. So when you're looking at comps, keep that in the back of your mind. So I'll name off some of the brands um, that are diffused with little sub brands. So let's see. So Armani has Armani Exchange, so you guys probably know that. Calvin Klein has CK. Um, Derek Lamb has 10 Crosby, you might have seen that before. Uh, Donna Karen has DKNY, that's a popular one. Um, let's see, Armani also, let me go back, Armani has also Emporio Armani, that's another diffused label. Um, uh, Roberta Cavalli has, uh, Just Cavalli, they also released a perfume, it's called Just Cavalli. Uh, let's see, do, do, do. Mark Jacobs has Mark. Um, Alexander McQueen has MCQ. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find anything else. Uh, Jason Wu has Miss Wu. Um, I don't know if you guys know that. Marquesa has Note, N-O-T-T-E. Um, Valentino uh, Garavani has Red by Valentino. So sometimes it just says Red or Red Valentino. Um, uh, Vera Wang has Simply Vera. That's the stuff that sells at Kohl's. So you know that. If you find a true Vera Wang, um, that's wonderful. Make sure you do not leave that behind. Uh, Sonia Rickle has Sonia. Um, Versace has Versus. You guys might, might know that already. Alexander Wang has T. So I've I've showed you guys, I've picked up a dress by uh, T. Alexander Wang. So that's the diffused label. Um, uh, let's see. Zach Posen has Z Spoke. And I think they have another one. Um, it was like Zach, 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 or, or I don't know. Um, Patrick Cox has Wannabe, Wannabe, Wannabe. I don't know if you've seen that. So just keep in mind that that could happen and it's okay. Those, those sub labels, those diffused labels could have um, a following. Um, but if you find the true one, know that the price is going to be much higher when you run for comp, when you run doing comps. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Some of my favorite, favorite things and not in any particular order. Okay. Of course, when you find St. John with a price tag, that's orgasmic. I mean, holy mackerel. $445, St. John, it has the original label. It has everything. Granted, it's um, the SoCal, so that is the the version for a more younger audience. So St. John has their main St. John label, which I'll show you. And then they have this label, which is slightly, slightly cheaper, but it's meant to be um, marketed to the younger, younger clientele, the more um, mainstream stuff. So anyway, so that's that. And it's a lovely metallic V-neck sleeveless top with this beautiful geometric shape and silver thread. Then, this is St. John, and these are amazing pants. 
They're dress pants and they are lined with silk, ladies, with silk. The liner is silk and they have a zipper on the side, but this is to me the epitome of luxury. I mean, imagine, you know, this lady standing on the beach with her St. John pants and her silk top flowing. I mean, this is fashion. This is gorgeous. And because it's lined and the fabric is really hard, um, some of us ladies have, um, uh, well, some of us, those that have lost weight, we have like rolls and things like cottage cheese thighs and things that stick out a little bit here and there. Pants like this really smooth out our silhouette. So these are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Yeah, when I found when I found these two, it was like uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Next, anytime I find cashmere, it's wonderful. And I actually have two sets. I don't know where the other one is, but I found a cashmere set from J. Crew, and it's 100% cashmere. And the tags are different, but the color is exactly the same. So it's a set, beautiful set with these little capped sleeves, super, super soft, and the little cardigan to go with it. It is, let's see, it's a medium, so it's a good size. And it's like wearing butter. It is so soft and it's pink and it's J. Crew. I mean, when I found it, I was like, did someone just put this here just for me? Love it, love it. All right, another find that I was extremely ecstatic with, Burberry. And yes, I did authenticate it. It is a real Burberry shirt. It's really pretty. It has these ruffles in the front. It is a size medium, I believe. I checked um, the number and everything. Um, I have a Burberry store at the mall, so I talked to them quite frequently whenever I want to authenticate anything. And this shirt is real Burberry. Very basic white top, but so classy. So classy. Super excited when I found that for $3.99 at the local thrift store. Okay. So I was just talking about Michael Kors, right? And I find a lot of Michael and Kors, but this is the actual Michael Kors label and it's a it's like this utility dress with side pockets very plain navy and all the buttons are imprinted with michael kors i can't get myself to sell it i won't wear it i just can't get myself to sell it because i'll never find probably another one like that so stay tuned if you're a big michael kors fan and want something that's actually Michael Kors. Let me know. Maybe we can work something out. Okay, moving on. I was really happy when I found Elizabeth and James blazer, especially because I've seen his blazer in a magazine. So I read all those fashion magazines. Um, I'll show you guys one of my favorite ones that I, that I read. But uh, this I saw in a magazine. So when I saw it at a thrift store, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just saw that like a few weeks ago in a magazine. So this is the label, Elizabeth and James. And those, you remember the Olsen twins? Um, that's from their line of clothing. And this is, a, this is a linen jacket. So aside from being Elizabeth and James, it's a linen jacket with really cute accents everywhere. Very pretty color. Ah, of course, wouldn't you be happy? Kate Spade. Of course. Oh man, I almost got it stuck. I found a Kate Spade shirt for $7.99 at Goodwill. Hello. Who leaves Kate Spade behind? No one. And it's not even Saturday, the cheaper brand of Kate Spade. It's Kate Spade. Really cute shirt. It's bigger, so I can't wear it. It's a size eight. Animal print, very soft. And it has this beautiful collar ruffle collar and it ties into a bow on the top. Stunning. Stunning ladies and gentlemen. Stunning, stunning. That bell you hear a little bit, that's Gigi like going nuts behind me. 
she brought me, let's see, she's bringing me a mouse. She caught a mouse. Look at that. Gigi caught a mouse. Yesterday, she brought me a warm because it was raining around here. So they were squiggling into the garage. So she just, she just came up. It's like hanging from her tooth. She's just walking around. I'm like, Gigi, for God's sakes. All right. Now this orange tag, can you guess orange tag with like this funky plus sign? Do you know what it is? Do you know? Tory Birch. I found a classic Torich, Tory Birch ton, tunic, tunic, um, stunning. And this is like her signature look. So um, if you Google uh, Tory Birch um, classic tunic, you will see this type of style. And this is one of her uh, more popular looks because it's the um, casual gray uh, thing with the navy, navy outline, really beautifully made. I'm not selling this, this fits me like a glove. But as you're going through the thrift store and you're scanning and you're seeing like, oh, New York and Co. Oh, okay, Reebok. Oh yeah, all right. Uh, what was it like cheetah? And suddenly Tory Burch. You're like, okay, eh, pause. Let's go back. When you see that tag, that orange tag, it's like your body chemistry already changes. You know what I mean? And then um, just a few uh, few weeks ago, I found. Well, it was more than a few. A few months ago. I found another Tory Burch and this blouse, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. I actually listed it for like a really big number because deep inside I don't wanna sell it. So if no one pays that, I'm totally okay with that. It's hanging in my closet waiting for some special, special um, time. But look at all those buttons. Gorgeous Tory Burch buttons. This is 100% cotton. It's stunning. Black skirt and this shirt. Lovely. All right, you guys, let's see. Let's keep going. I get super, super excited when I find pretty free people pieces. So here's a free people poncho sweater. And normally I find some butt ugly free people stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, super cute. <sighs> but then I find this and it's soft. It, it's another piece that's like soft as butter. Here's the free people tag. And I love finding free people. I really, really, really do. Um, so this was my second free people find that I really, really love. I can't wait to show you my first one. I am completely in love with these dress. Let's talk about the sleeves. The sleeves are a work of art all on its own. Then you have this. It's embroidered amazingly. The colors. It's heavy too. So all that embroidery. It's lined underneath. It is the most stunning dress ever. I know these suckers are expensive. I know that the resale on these suckers is expensive. I know the colors and the embroidery make it even more. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of it. And plus, when I wear it, I feel like this innocent, light peasant girl in the woods and some Prince Charming is gonna come and find me. I, I don't know what to do with this dress, but I'm, I'm probably never gonna get rid of it. So don't even try to buy it off of me. Okay, at the bins. You guys won't believe what I found at the bins one time. And I mentioned it in one of my prior videos. But I found a uh, pair of pants in one bin and Lafayette 148. So this is a great brand that sells at Nordy's. And then a bin over, I found a coat that goes with it. So it is a suit, a amazing suit, black with like this gold, gold thread interwoven in there. It is so stunning. Size six, brand new, no wear and tear whatsoever, Lafayette suit. Dude, that entire trip was worth it just for this one suit. But no, it wasn't just one. Whoa! 
I pick up a Classique NTA. So that's another kind of in that Lafayette category from Nordy's. Another suit, and it's even more stunning. It is gorgeous, size four. Pant the slacks are adorable. I, I was just, I wore the slacks one time just for, just for myself. Very cute, I like the band on top. The fact that it's a jacket, beautiful buttons and stitching. Um, I, I have better clothes from the bins than I ever did when I used to shop when I was a corporate woman. I used to have a uh, kind of a high authority corporate position. I was a director and had a lot of people underneath me and managers and stuff. So I used to dress, you know, in suits all the time and um, pants suits. And uh, I've never wore stuff like this. And that's what I wear now. Crazy. All right. My other favorite thing to find Eileen Fischel. Fischel. Fisher. Oh my God, I'm becoming Nicole. Oh. You know the tag. This is a 100% silk pant suit, a leisure pant suit. It has this gorgeous open blazer that comes with it. It is stunning. It, it's like luxury. I was walking in it one time with my heels. And like It was like in slow motion, the material moved around me. It was so pretty, so pretty. Too bad it's too big for me and I looked weird. Still, I felt luxurious. And I wish that some other lady will find this luxurious as well. The cardigan, I Googled it and I found um, comps on it. Cardigan went for over 300 and something dollars and the pants were like 298. So I'm currently selling this. I don't remember for how much in my Poshmark store, but this is a flawless silk suit from Eileen Fisher. Moving on, Gigi, my darling, you're gonna have to move. Let me pause on dresses, outfits and things and show you some hard goods not hard goods, some uh, other things than clothing, whatever those are. Yves Saint Laurent shoes. When I first saw them, I'm like, no freaking way. Are you serious? Okay, hold on, let me see if I can. I still not good with the lighting. Okay, I don't know, but it's it's etched in there. Um, well, I so the way I I do shoes, I touch the tips. So I walk through and I just touch the tips, and I touch this tip, and it had this weird, kind of funky doodle toe. So I touched, and I'm like, oh, this is interesting. <gasps> you Saint Laurent, oh my God, these are in impeccable condition. Look at the heels, amazing. I'm selling these in my store. The comps are crazy. I've been lowering the price a little bit here and there. If I never sell them, that's okay because I want to have them for sale in my closet forever. I'll never find anything like this ever again. Now, another pair of shoes. When I saw those, I, I did my like, Wah! cry. Manolos. And not only are they Manolo Blahnik shoes, they are flats, green alligator flats. They are amazing. They are a size, let's see, 39. So I think that's like a eight and a half. Manolo Blahnik pointy toe, not pointy toe, but I guess it's a little roundy pointy. Manolo Blahnik flats, alligator, green and black alligator skin, gorgeous. Okay, moving on, let's see. Oh yeah. I was at a thrift store a few months ago. They had a big sale. It was like Salvation Army or hosp some hospice thing. Look what they had hanging on the wall. A Rebecca Minkoff signature purse. Like, holy crap. And it's one of their um, uh, unique kind of novelty. Here's Rebecca Minkoff. Novelty uh, patterns. The floral collection came out and it was really popular. A lot of people bought it. A lot of people were collecting pieces to finish their entire 
collection later. So I saw some ISO in search of blah, 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 blah. So then I went into the pocket and it still had all the tags from Nordy's. So, oh my God, this is a new with tags, Rebecca Minkoff purse in her pastel flor floral uh, pattern, gorgeous. It has the silver belt, the cute leather strap. It's adorable. No, it's not yet posted. I'm thinking about it. Okay, moving on to some clothes. Uh, I have so much, I don't know if I'll show you everything. Um, this was a amazing moment for me. And what made it even more amazing, it fits me. So this is my go-to gown now for the holiday season. And it's a Tadashi Soji, a Tadashi gown. Like, hello, I would never be able to afford a, um, a gown like this from Tadashi. But I found it at a thrift store. It has a nude liner. A stunning, stunning opening. Maybe I'll, I'll take a picture one day when I wear it to an event. It has a matching belt in the middle and it's so beautiful. And I feel like pretty woman in it, like completely. Pretty, pretty woman. And I'm like almost 40, so it's impossible. Okay, I'll show you another thing. This is a no-namer. Does not have a name, uh, meaning a brand. But I always wanted a dress I can wear to the Renaissance Fair because I think Renaissance Fairs are amazing. And I kind of just once in a while want to dress up like, like funky and, you know, whatever. And I found something that is so perfect and it was made just for me, I feel like. Check this out. Wow. And you know I love embroidery. So look at this amazing embroidery. And then look at that. It is so stunning. Video and pictures don't do it justice. And look at this. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. And it fits me to a T. It's amazing. I feel like a princess. A princess. I hope one day you find a dress like that that fits you so perfectly and you love and has all the features you adore. All right, I love Bailey 44. So Bailey 44 to me is luxury as well. And not only is this Bailey 44, but it has an amazing style. It has these zippers and yes, they do unzip. So it kind of loosens it up. So if you're bloated and you've got, you're sporting one of those tummies, you know, you can loosen this up and then it zips in front. And let me show you Bailey. Bailey 44, oops. That's the tag and it sells. There's been um, some Bailey 44 sells at Anthropology, but mostly that where I find Bailey is at um, Saks. Millie, a Millie dress, a Millie peplum sheath dress. Hello, anyone there? Who the hell would give this away to a thrift store? I do not understand. This dress once again was also made for me. Let me show you the label. Millie. Beautiful Millie dress. And let's see. I did spend some money on that one. So let's see. It was on sale for 50% off. So I bought it for $16. This is probably the most I ever spent on any one piece at a thrift store. But this dress is darling and I haven't even done the like, comps on it because I don't know if I'll post it. Anthropology. I this this dress is specifically special for me because I saw it somewhere and I'm like, oh my God, I love this dress. I can't afford it. It was um I found it in a magazine, then I went on their website and it was for sale there and it was like over two hundred dollars I remember or like one ninety eight something that was unattainable to me and then I found it at the thrift store and it was one of those true euphoric moments like wow this is real I if I continue to find things like this I'm giving up department stores and malls forever and guess what ladies and gentlemen I have 
I gave them up. I will never shop. Never shop at a department store unless it's a gift for someone or I just, I don't know. I'm thrifty for the rest of my life. Let's see. Okay. Now tell me what you think about this. Isn't this stunning? So hold on. I don't even know if it's suede. I'm not sure if I care. It's so first let's do it says Jersey fur. I don't know. So this is the tag and it's Fabrique and France. So it's from France. To me, it looks expensive. Chances are with my luck, it's like forever 21 for French people, but um, it is so beautiful. I don't know where and how I'm ever going to wait. I am going to a MMA fight next week. There's a big fight here in Sacramento and I'm going to it. Maybe I'll wear it there. I'll be like that fashionista where people think like, oh wow, she must be somebody famous. Oh, she must be somebody. So I'll go ahead and wear it to that and I'll let you guys know how it went. But this is style. I love it. It's loud, it's obnoxious, and just how I like it. Um, I'm almost coming to an end. I don't know why I got excited about this, but it's uh, Reaction Kenneth Cole, and it's a beautiful tan leather uh, coat. It's just beautifully structured, very classic, not my size, but I get really excited when I found it and thought I'd show it to you guys in case anyone wants it. It's a size small, but it's big. It has a loose fit. Let me show you. And I'm normally small. See, it's, I don't know. It has a little bit more there than I would like, but it's very cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, then I found this jacket, which is my favorite. I have it for sale, but it's a lot. I did a lot of research on it. It's from Barcelona, Spain. And it's a custom, custom uh, leather shop that this came out of. And it looks like this cute aviator jacket. But what made me really pick it up is that the leather is super soft. It is so beautiful. I love the pockets, the side pockets. Um, the color is like this chocolate brown, but it feels really feels like butter. And I know I say that a lot. Oh my God, that feels like butter. No, it really does feel like butter. And I translated the, the tag. It says 100% peel and peel in in English is leather. So it's a beautiful aviator style leather jacket. Stunning. Wow. Beautiful. Let's see. Classic NTA. So it's from Nordies. Beautifully structured. It's like this linen fabric with um, metallic thread woven into it. Um, I, to me, this is just beautiful. Problem is my midsection is too big. No, not my boobs, my, my tummy. And this just, it's not as forgiving as it looks. So I can't fit into it. Maybe if I lose like 10 more pounds or something, this will do. But, um, it's, it's hard to explain why I find this so appealing. Maybe because, um, there's like, I worked in the corporate world and above me there were these uh, female leaders and even in different companies there were these female leaders and they looked like they were dressed by a professional like consultant and they wore things that um, were extremely beautifully structured. You know it was high end and I saw someone one time wearing something similar and it looked like a suit dress beautifully structured and I thought hmm one day I'll have something like that. Well, I have it. I just gotta lose some weight to get into it. Was really, really happy when I found this anthropology dress. Burlap, beautiful dress. That flower is stunning. And this was one of my earlier anthropology finds. So, um, 
it was like during a time when I was, it was like last year, late last year, because I started doing this last year. I was thinking, yeah, just because I found something once or twice doesn't mean that I'm going to keep finding it. Is this really what I want to be doing? Um, so it was significant because when I found that dress, it was the point of me thinking, yeah, I'm going to keep digging. I think, I think there's something there. Johnny was, I love Johnny was, it's my, my favorite brand pretty much. Um, and when I find something from my perfect brand, my favorite brand, it's, it's truly orgasmic, like a double orgasm with whipped cream on top, if you know what I mean. And I found this top, it was like $4.99 at Goodwill. Thought I was gonna go crazy. Um, let's see, a few more things and then I'll show you actually one of my fails, something that I bought and I thought I was so excited, but it turned out to be a fakeroo. What is this? Diane, well, hold on, how do you pronounce it? Furstenberg, Furstenberg? Furstenberg, Von Furstenberg? I don't know, but you know what it is. Um, uh, a long time ago, I created some fashion wants and I thought, okay, if I ever hit that, that means I've made it. So it was a Louis Vuitton purse. Um, it was, let's see, uh, Tiff, uh, jewelry from Tiffany, um, Chanel sunglasses and a Diane Von Furstenberg wrap dress. So I have the dress and now I have a shirt and this is such a beautiful shirt. It has this midsection that's kind of peekaboo. You can see it. it has, I forget what that funky doodle is called in the back when they style it that way. There's a name for it. I saw it in my uh, fashion directory. Um, I love this shirt when I found it. I'm like 100% silk. Diane um, dress, awesome. This is not a very special brand by any means, but you know me in embroidery. When I find something beautifully embroidered, I have to show it off. So check this out. It's a Lucky Brand sweatshirt and it has the most stunning floral boho embroidery. And on top of it all, it's super, super cozy and warm. And this is the label. I can't get myself to uh, post it. Um, I don't know if I ever will. And I'm not even wearing it in case um, I one of those embroidery flowers catches on something. Or if I get a stain, I couldn't live with myself. But it's, it's so gorgeous. And... You know me and zippers, so no, it, the zipper does work. Don't get scared. Has like this felt embroidery and then all of the stitching around it. Oh, stunning. Okay. Um, let's see, I'll do two more and then my faker roo. Montaldo's. This is from my... Um, from my vintage collection. I love this, so let's start here. Check this out, this. Then we have the Union tag. So you know it's vintage. And I used to have a little little um, cheat sheet on my Union tags because as they changed, you can actually um, link it back to the time it was made based on the on the seal and stuff. I gotta find that so I can age it appropriately. And this is a Montaldo's coat. And it's navy with fur. Totally see it like in the, I don't know, 40s, 30s, 40s. Isn't this lovely? Check this out. What a beautiful jacket. Yes, when I found it, I was like, oh my God, G-O-D is listening to me. Even though I haven't been good to him at all, G-O-D does exist. Stunning. I have to clean it up because it's been laying next to my fur coat, which is our last, our last find. Let's see. A real rabbit fur coat. And this is not the only one. I actually have another one up for sale that is, uh, it's a bomber jacket type uh, fur coat, but this is luxury. And okay, first of all, 
I, I struggle with this because I am extremely pro animals. Um, I like all the donations I do are to SPCA wildlife stuff and I'm anti-hunting my I grew up around hunting my entire life my dad's really into it so I always struggle with with wearing this and animal rights and everything but I just can't help but feel like such luxury when I wear it like I'm honoring the dead animals that made this you know it's stupid oh my god but I think it's the most stunning jacket ever um Back in uh, Poland during the 80s, like if you had a um, if you had a fur coat, you were either really really rich, or you were a or you were some famous hunter's wife or something. But so that's why it's embedded in my culture. I think it's the cultural upbringing that fur equals luxury. And so when I found this, and it's amazing and I did the fur test you guys know how to do the fur test if you don't let me let me show you and tell well first of all tell me in a video if you want to authenticate fur to see if it's real I'll show you how to do it but I passed the fur test it's beautiful I can't zip it up it's like my tummy's in the way but anyway and now let's talk about my faker real so when I saw these I'm like Oh my God, Gucci tennis shoes. Are you kidding me? Gucci, Gucci made in Italy. The G's are actual G's, not C's and a G and not, you know, um, some funky, some funky thing. And these are the signature, you know, the signature color with the stripes. I got so excited, set it on the bottom. Yeah, they're fake. They're fake. So I can't sell them, but it, after I got back to my to my house, I googled obviously Gucci tennis shoes, and it was like the number one thing that was uh, knocked off after Louis Vuitton purses, and they showed all the all the features of how to see um, if it's a knockoff, and even has the GG here, and so they're not real. They fit me, I don't wear them, I don't know what to do with them. I think I mentioned in my other video, I have a lot of knockoff shit. And I have a lot of knockoff purses, including including a copy of my Louis Vuitton that I wear. If I go to the bad part of town, I wear the fake Louis Vuitton, not the real one, because I'm kind of scared. Um, and I don't know what to do with them. I, I don't, I have a box of purses and other things and these are gonna go in there. Um, one day locally, I'll probably sell it to someone, but whatever. And one more thing, cause I just saw it peeking out. You know, this is, you know, Tiffany's, you know, Paloma Picasso. She designs jewelry for Tiffany's. This is a Paloma Picasso belt, leather belt with her signature, with her signature thingy-majig. I got this for like a dollar. Uh, comps are all over the place about it. It's an excellent condition. It is a large. It's a beautiful belt. I haven't posted it yet, so I got to do it. So yeah, you guys, those are my favorite, favorite things. Uh, there's a few more I haven't. Number one, I sold. Uh, I sold them so you didn't see them. Number two, I can't find them. And number three, they're too high up and I can't reach them. I have these beautiful Badgley Mishka um, shoes that I found. Um, I have, I brought this down for you guys so you can get a kick out of it. I bought an antique vibrator, but I realized later it's not actually um, a vibrator like we know it. It's a massager. So back in the whatever, whenever... They used these things for sore muscles, for complexion, for headaches, for scalp massage, for rheumatism, for constipation, and it has, it's a two-speed Eskimo vibrator, and it works. So I don't know where I'm going to put it up for sale. It's super cool. It's in great condition. It has the settings, the different settings. The Eskimo two-speed vibrator, um, it's was made 
I don't know where it was made. Let's see. But what I find awesome is the fact that um, I found it in this original box. And here it says, tested. It was tested. It works. I, plug, I plugged it in and it does work. So, so these are some of my favorite finds, you guys. Um, I hope you like them. Um, that's that. Uh, I would say I'll make another video later, but we all know that's a lie. Every time I say that, I don't actually go and make another video. But thank you so much for watching. It's so humbling. And, like, the pressure is on. Like, more people are watching. That means, like, I got to produce more videos, and it's so exciting. Um, I'm starting a list of all the topics. Um, and if you guys want me to do anything specific drop me a line I'll add it to my list just remember three weeks ago I didn't know how to put a video together and look at me now so you can do it and if you need motivation or some help reach out to me I'll help you I'll help you get your YouTube channel started and I'll walk you through stuff so don't be afraid it's so liberating and so fun um, so I encourage you all to try it and I'll talk to you later. And um, Nicole, I love you. You're so awesome. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Toodles, cheers, greetings, and salutations. Have a wonderful Sunday fun day. Guys, have you ever thought what the heck does Boondoggle Bliss mean? How did she come up with that name? Well, it's very appropriate for today's episode. So Boondoggle, the definition, and I'm going to read it, is work or activity that is wasteful or pointless but gives the appearance of having value. Um, as a verb, waste money or time on unnecessary or questionable projects. So Boondoggle Bliss you can kind of get the point what I meant by that. But the irony is that my thrift shopping is no longer wasteful or pointless. And now has some value and I'm making some money, but I'm keeping that name because the irony is fantastic. So my my channel name and my name that I go by on Instagram and, um, and all those places is Boondoggle Place.